apologies for the noise outside <laughs> it's just one of those things that i'm working on hello everyone and thank you for tuning into my channel this is simply su olu uh today i will be talking on a good but rather unusual topic which is trust okay the scripture in proverbs 3 you know um, 5 and 6 did say that we should trust in the lord with all our heart and leaning not on our own understanding however i will be picking you know, this topic one by one and explain how it will be beneficial to us in this climate trust in the lord with all your heart lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledging he shall direct, he shall direct your path. Thank you to all my returning subscribers and those who are tuning in for the first time. You are equally welcome. One of the most important topics in life, but least spoken about, is trust. We all need to trust one another because without trust, we cannot work with one another and we cannot achieve much. More. And especially at a time like this, when we're under this type of economic you know, climate that is putting a lot of pressure on people, we need to be able to navigate these financial waters successfully by trusting God first and foremost, and then trusting one another. Trust is belief in the reliability, the truth, and ability of someone or something. The fact that you trust doesn't imply that you sit down and do absolutely nothing or that you're dependent on someone else to do anything for you. It's just the fact that as you're doing whatever it is you're doing, as you're putting in the effort, as you're working, as you're hustling, you're also trusting that whatever it is that you do will come to you know, um, reality and will be successful. And you're also trusting that God is able to help you or you have trust in some business partners that they're able to come true for you. So trust is not laziness and carelessness. Trust is you you know, standing up and doing what you need to do or trusting in you know, what you're doing in the environment you find yourself and in God Almighty. So you trust him to make the right decisions. To make the right choices you trust him that when life knocks you he will have your back you trust him that at a time like this he will give you strength and health and the ability and the grace you know to transact your business uh, to succeed in your career and to continue to be able to work you trust him believing that tomorrow will be better you also trust him to help you focus on what you're doing right now and not to be distracted by all the negative news that is flying around. It is imperative for us to trust him, to help us to make the right, right financial decision and to be able to manage our resources uh, properly. It is very easy for people to panic and to start doing uh, silly things, but this is the time that we need to trust him to help us to be trustworthy and to live a trustworthy lifestyle. At a time like this, when everybody is on the uh, financial constraint it is very easy for us not to want to trust one another this is a time when we need to trust other people as well as well as trusting ourselves trusting other people business partners work colleagues and you know friends and families who knows who your helpers of destinies you know are and until when i see you we're still going to be talking about this um, tomorrow and days to come trust in the lord with all your heart lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledging and it will definitely direct your path thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next one